This is Chapter 3, Topic 1, looking at equilibrium and free body diagrams. We're told we have a 90-pound load suspended from a hook supported by two cables. So we have the table going from point A to point C. We have a cable going from A to point D. And we have a spring pulling from A to point B. We're told the stiffness of the spring um, is K equals 500 pounds per foot. We're asked to determine the force in each of the cables and the stretch of the spring for equilibrium. Equilibrium, of course, means that the summation of forces in all three dimensions equals zero. Cable AD lies within the XY plane, and cable AC lies within the XZ plane. So we need to draw a free body diagram, and we do that in the box that's given. Our weight, our force to point B, our force to point C, and our force to point D. Now for D, we're given an angle along the XY plane. Uh, for force C, we're given a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So in fact, I've kind of split out that one force to show that it's lying in the negative X and positive Z plane, and that it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. And we'll use that relationship rather than angles. Uh, given, we're given what the spring stiffness is, K equals 500 pounds per foot. We're given what the weight is, 90 pounds. We're asked to find force D, force C, force B, and the stretch of the spring distance S. So, looking at our free body diagram, we can do our summation of forces. And in the X direction, we see the summation of forces. We have FD sine of 30 pulling in the positive X direction. Um, negative four-fifths FC in the negative X direction. And again, that comes from our triangle. This is the negative X direction. Four-fifths of that is going to be in that direction. And because we're in equilibrium, when we add all those forces, we should get zero. In the Y direction, we have FD cosine 30 pulling down or in the negative Y direction. FB in the positive um, F, uh, positive y direction, and there's our positive y and our negative y, the cosine component. And then in the z direction, we have three-fifths of 4c pulling up and the weight pulling down. So we now have our three equations, three unknowns. Um, using equation three, I was able to solve for what fc was. So fc would be five-thirds of the weight, or 150 pounds. Using equation 1, now that we know um, FC, um, I can solve for FD is 4 fifths of FC divided by the sine of 30. And using equation 2, I can now solve for what force B is, FD times the cosine of 30, or 208 pounds. Again, be sure that you're writing your equations and you're boxing final answers. And now that I know what FB is, I can expand that equation and say that it's the stiffness of the spring times the distance I've stretched the spring, and that allows me to solve for that distance S. It'll be the force divided by the spring stiffness, 208 divided by 500, or 0.416 feet. So the important part in this one is doing your summation of forces, setting them equal to zero, um, and we're introduced to kind of a new notation in the fact that we're going to take a fraction of the force looking at our triangle. So 4 fifths is along the x direction, and 3 out of the 5, or 3 fifths, in the z direction. Um, use this to please check your work and see that you've got correct answers.